uh, this particular form is called quadratic form uh, for general case n by n uh, matrix A this is uh, the quadratic form and uh, in the last lecture we learned that uh, here this matrix A can, can be made symmetric matrix furthermore uh, we can transform this quadratic form to principal axis that is uh, if uh, this A is diagonalizable then it can be written into this form in this case since uh, uh, y, this uh, A matrix is symmetric therefore this capital X matrix that will be an orthogonal matrix and therefore the trans X inverse is equal to X transposed and if we define X, trans X transpose into X to be equal to Y then this expression is Y transposed B Y which is equal to we have this quadratic form uh, and we can easily write it in matrix form as well that is X transposed A in this case is 7 7 over here and 3 3 writing it in a metric matrix that is uh, more convenient and now we trans want to transform it to principal axis for that purpose we need to determine uh, the eigenvalues of this matrix A so A minus lambda i this matrix is now named as A A minus lambda i determinant that is equal to and from here uh, you get uh, lambda uh, equal to 10 and lambda equal to 4 so corresponding to these eigenvalues uh, we can find the eigenvectors and uh, that is corresponding to lambda equal to 10 we have uh, this uh, uh, minus 3 3 3 minus 3 and 0 this is the augmented matrix and uh, which is the same as 1 minus 1 0 0 this is re row equivalent to this matrix and from here the eigenvector uh, can be easily determined which is uh, 1 1 the eigenvector 1 eigenvector corresponding to this eigenvalue is equal to uh, this 0 that is x1 is equal to x2 and uh, since uh, we will be interested in this uh, orthogonal matrix so we would prefer to have uh, a normalized eigenvector so simply we divide this by the magnitude of this vector so 1 over square root of 2 and 1 over square root of 2 similarly corresponding to second eigenvalue we determine the eigenvector that is corresponding to lambda equal to 4 the eigenvector is determined uh, which is 1 over square root of 2 and minus 1 over square root of 2 hence uh, this matrix this x quadratic expression is the same as so this is y 10 y 1 square plus 4 y 2 square definitely here the order of this uh, will be the same as order of columns in this matrix so the first column in this matrix x will correspond to this first eigenvalue the second column in this matrix x will correspond to the second eigenvalue what is the geometrical shape that is described by this uh, quadratic equation so we can we see that this left hand side by using the transformation new transformation is equal to this thing 10 y1 square plus 4 y2 square that is equal to 200 uh, we have divided the entire equation with the 200 so yeah before me I got so what is this equation equation of an ellipse so one advantage 
of this transformation to a principal axis is uh, that we are able to see what is the geometrical shape described by this equation. It's, it was not apparent from this quadratic equation. However, we have transformed it to principal axis. Uh, geometrically, this has, it has this meaning. For example, ellipse, uh, this was uh, something like this one. In the original uh, variables x1 and x2, we had uh, this equation which was not visible. We have defined new variables, these variables, let's say y1 and y2. And in these variables, y1 and y2, this uh, becomes uh, this shape. So that is uh, more uh, visible what shape is described by this equation, this equation, quadratic equation. So the question is uh, why did we compute uh, this thing? Uh, X, there are two reasons. Uh, first reason is that uh, uh, for the matrix to be diagonalizable, those two distinct columns must exist. So we have ensured that by finding those uh, vectors, we have ensured that even in this case we did not need to uh, if we have two distinct values definitely we'll, we will have two linearly independent vectors however if we want to find a relation between y and x then uh, we need uh, this x so if we need to determine this relation then we need to compute capital X otherwise we do not need to compute it in this particular case